um, it's Dave McLean here in the Bikini Bottom. This is episode five. In the last episode, we toured the um, industrial park. And in this episode, we're going to be doing something different. I'm going to be show you my process of how I kind of um, design and build these um, buildings from TV shows. Because it involves a lot of, um, I would say, interpretation. Because the show isn't really always going to be accurate to Minecraft. Because Minecraft is much more abstract. Like, like you can't put any more... You can't really put that much more detail into this block. You can, like with the button and stuff like that. But other than that, you really can't. So you do have to pick out the important things that is representative of your building and things that are not. You just have to leave out and pretend they're there. And then what happens is when all the elements go together, all the blocks go together, it'll end up turning into like the um, building you're trying to design. So like I said, this could be a, a very different video because I'm going to be actually trying to um, kind of reamp this um, Sticky Burger. If you don't know what Sticky Burger is, it appeared in season 5 or so 1 of um, Spongebob. It's, I believe the episode is called Friend or Fro. You know, when this is when Plankton and Spongebob, um, sorry, Plankton and, Plankton and Mr. Krabs told a story of how they met and how they became enemies and all that. How they found the um, secret or created a secret form of the um, Cry Patty and the Chum and all that. So, yeah. By the end of the show, Sticky Burger actually closed down because their burgers were terrible. It was a public health crisis or high public health risk, so we had to shut it down. So this is the result of that. So anyway, so um, when I'm designing any building or building in Minecraft, I always do a quick sketches or quick pictures of what it looks like. So I have some pictures in front of me of Sticky Burgers. As you can see, it's like green. With some brick, with some brick mix into it. There's two doorways: the back door, um, which Mr. Crab tries to sneak into, and the front door. So as you can see, um, originally I had like the wall surrounding just the um, eating area, but it actually sort of surround the whole area itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like uh, remove this wall because um, I know it's supposed to be um, bigger than this. But not too much. So there we go. And now I'm going to start making like the site itself. So I want to make the wall go around. Like in the screenshot I'm looking at. And based on my sketches or plans. A plan of the um, entire site. So it doesn't go too far. I can make it go like down up to like maybe here. And I do use world edit here. And what world edit is. It allows you to place hundreds and hundreds of blocks. Like, um, like, like, this is how I made all the hills as all that. It makes things so much faster because you don't have to place by, um, one, destroy, or just, um, do that. You can just instead go here, go here, type in command, set zero, which is the ear block, and there you go. So, um, that's how that works. So I'm going to place that, uh, and hopefully the audio is not too loud. I didn't really test this, honestly. Of course, you can do a lot more with world edit. If you want, I can do a world edit video one day, if a lot of people ask for it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, um, in the show, um, now I'm looking at it. So, pretty much now I did a site, and also I'm going to also put a lot of little shrubs around. I'm not going to do this off camera, because... I do pretty much have to place this by hand. Let me turn out the audio here a little bit. There you go. I do have to um, do this by hand, so I'm just going to kind of kind of um, make a quick outline just to know what I'm dealing with. And I'm going to make like a little exit here, just to make here look a little rough. I also may add like a few, like see these like blocks I play for texture? I may add like some unique blocks, like some cobblestone blocks. Like some cobblestone block, just to add a little bit more texture to things. So we can look a bit more stinky. Like, I'm pretty sure I can probably use the honey block. You know, it's honey. I think it works good for, like, the theme that's going on. But that's, the, like, the last stage is to add the um, texture. And right now, I'm just focused on the functionality and the main features. So this is pretty much my plan in the parking lot. I know buildings in the Bikini Bones don't have parking lots. But in my mind, since I built the whole city, I kind of want to make some type of parking exception. And I think of doing that like around here, a tiny one, not as big as the industrial park, just a little 
tiny pocket of light there, so it'd be like, um... Maybe, like, it starts there, and then you can park on each side of, like, this, um, broken up, um, pathway there. Like, I can remove this. And kind of put a little more shrubs, just kind of to block out this place from the, um, main road. Like I say, I go to, I go to the shrubs off camera a little bit. And then do something like that, and that should be a good outline for me. So I know the park lot goes here, and it, I probably have a pathway which goes right to Sticky Burgers. And I think that does it for the, um, main path. Let me go to, um, uh, time set 4, just make it daytime. Now, for me, I believe I did a really good job on placing the, um, wall close enough to it. So I think the site itself is all set at this point. There's, of course, this huge, uh, mountain behind it, which is fine. Um, I don't know what I think. I don't care why I added this, but I think that mountain behind it is fine. It doesn't matter too much because it's part of the background. Of course, in the show, there's no mountain at all. It's only just a um, flat piece of land, which is not possible in Minecraft to do. Or unless you want your building to be so far away, it's not even a town anymore. So it kind of makes a few sacrifices of um, what is important to the show and what makes things town-like in real life. So it's kind of like a balancing act. Cartoon versus kind of being realistic of things. Even though all this is imaginary, but whatever. So, um, first. But first, when doing the, uh, more close-up details of it, I want to make sure. Did this look like Sticky Burger? And for me, it does. Like, you see the clam go spewing out all this, um, stickiness, and the orange sign, I would say, looks pretty good. The counter kind of looks a little off to me, and inside has no detail at all. And based on my sketches here, I supposed to add a um wall here. I even added a um wall to the gate, which I can't do though because of this um wall, which I do not want to tear down. So I'm gonna keep it like that. So making we get a wall like there might be a good idea. And then now um that looks good. Now this thing looks kind of odd, so I think I'm going to play around with this a little bit. And maybe add some, um, cyan pterodactyl instead. And kind of like this overhang feeling. Not a real overhang, but like, just, just enough of feeling that it's an overhang. And I don't think, I, I think that doesn't look too shabby. I would rather it be like, a flatter, which I used the slabs before, but I think this adds more, a little more texture to things. And since this place is supposed to be very stinky, it's good to find a contrast. Like I said, do this step last. So actually, I'm not going to do that now, actually. I'm going to stick to my rules here. So, um, for the floor wing, I probably will just use... Let me actually look at this inside screenshot. If there is any. So it's kind of like a tile-like floor. So to start, I think I'm going to use... Um, polished deed slate. And something else. I don't want it to look too clean, keep in mind. I don't want to use like iron block because it looks too clean. Like black nether netherite. Sorry, block of nether netherlight may look right. But I want something a little more whiter, I believe. And I can use um I can use white concrete powder, but I think that looks even though that looks too white. Oh, I can try out this block, though. Let's start at this block, just to start. This is dry kelp, I believe. What is this? Dead 2 core block. Like I said, I can't use world edit for this, because I have to place these blocks in the right order. So I can't really use world edit and place hundreds of blocks. So, I think this is a good texture. I might be able to find um, something else better after. There we go. That's inside. There's a back door, which says do not enter. So what I'm going to do here is place a door down. A solid door. So I place this one. There's not many, too many door options in Minecraft, so I just have to choose whatever fits the most. And then here I can add a put no parking or do not enter. The door says do not enter and the um there's a sign next to it that says no parking. So what I think I'm going to do is no parking, you know, I don't know how you get your car here, but whatever. No parking, and I go say right above the doorway, 
do not enter and there you go now um now um i got so i think we're pretty much done with inside i could make the roof a little bit higher but i don't think that's necessary so keep it the same now this counter is a little bit high so i'm just going to remove it and see if i can figure out stuff to do with it and um yeah that's pretty much it i think for inside outside of the um, detail at least or texture to say so uh, let me pull up this other sketch i have here so yep the tables are correct um but before i go on the table i kind of want to change this wall since i'm still focused on this table before i go into the landscape of things so what i'm going to do here um I'm going to use a mesh. I'm going to make a mesh of brick, probably two types of green blocks, and something else. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do um, slash slash replace green pterodactyl with, uh, let's say, 20% brick. Um... Let's say... Actually, no, I'll put bricks a little bit lower. Actually, no, that's good. Let's say 40% green pterodactyl and 40% um, green concrete. So let's see how that looks. Oops, that didn't work for some reason. Green pterodactyl with green pear. So sometimes there's some troubleshooting you have to do with wall edit. Yeah, two. I did that. Uh, it's probably something that I'm missing. I just don't know what I'm missing actually. Uh, make sure I um. Oh, brick. I think it's called bricks, actually. Right? Ah, there, okay, there we go. It's called bricks. So, I would say it looks kind of stinky. Um, not bad. Now, I think all the red bricks should go close to each other, like lower to the ground. But it doesn't really matter too much. Of course, we can also push it a step further and add, like, another block to this. Um, like, um, possibly. I don't want to use copper because that might turn a different color, which doesn't really matter, but still. And I guess we could try... Uh, no, it's too different. Of course, I'm doing this very slowly, just so you can get an understanding of how, why it takes to kind of, like, what is my process like. On making these buildings, or in this case, renovating a building. In this case, I'm doing this for practice for um, the next build, so so you could do that on camera to make things more interesting. Is there these um little shorts? Just a different approach that I might I just want to try building on camera. <laughs> okay, I could try a few granite blocks. So why not try that? Eh, maybe just to the ground. I don't think I want to do too much. There's no brick here. Let's fix that. Now, I, now I'm thinking of putting a little bit of yellow pterodactyl. So, like, let's, let's try it. See how it looks like. Alright, that looks kind of odd. I like that. I could try this. Orange pterodactyl. Eh, I guess I can try that. We have a few locations I can place some orange. Just make this look more stinky and ugly and, you know, terrible. Now, um, I think that does it for the texture on the bomb floor. Now, I don't like the ceiling up here at all, so I'm thinking I'm going to do... I'm going to just um, delete these torches and just grab a block just to cut them up. And just I can just use spruce flaps. It doesn't really matter. I just want to cover up the um, ceiling here. 
So after doing that, I th it's time to go on to the um, iron blocks, which is which is above this place, holding up the sign and all that. Now the sign technically says sticky burgers, but I can't really add that. Oh, this is, this is a door. We deal with that later. The, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace all these iron blocks with something I can more or less expect. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go position one. This is my positions. Person do. And if you just roll that to edit stuff, you don't have to replace things like levers because they won't top off. So I could just go down, just look at all the blocks I can use, something nether related probably. I could try nether bricks. I'll try that. So slash slash replace iron block with nether. Nether. Bricks, and boom! That looks so much better than what I had before. <laughs> I I think so. And you can see the level's still up there. And of course, we have some more detail about like a cauldron, or maybe even doing something like this: cauldron in black, um, black concrete. And I think that looks pretty good. That just looks a lot better. So yeah, there's a lot of play around here you can do. Just, just to add spice. Even if it doesn't show up in the episode, I think it's still worth bringing your um, what do you call it? creativity to your to your build. Just because, you know, you can make things look a lot better than the show, which I think still adds and people seem to like it. So I think it's worth doing that. And up here, I could just do this possibly or trap door. Because it's kind of a, a um, hinge up there, or a um, circular thing on top of the pole up for that one for some reason, so I could do that. And then now for the um, ceiling, since, it will, since it's supposed to be just a ceiling, I could just do this. Slab and um, stone slab, you don't want to keep it clean, keep in mind, so that's why I only some different slabs. Just so it won't be too clean, which is not the theme we're going for. It's supposed to be a stinky place. Now, what's interesting is, uh, like I said earlier, this is actually closed down currently by the um, health department because, you know, um, the stinky burgers isn't that good to eat. So, but I decided to keep it open just because, you know, I think it's a more interesting. So it's not really um in time, I guess you can say, but I think it's just worth opening it. And plus, it doesn't really matter, honestly, it really doesn't. Now, when doing the ceiling, the only part you can actually see at ground level is like the um, very side of it. So keep that in mind, so you want to make sure you put that in top priority. Looks great. And if you really want to, well, I want to, I could add a little um, vent here. Uh, maybe just nether brick again. And it's just so the um, fumes can escape the building. I don't know why I'm adding this, but sometimes adding just random features like this help your uh, buildings just stand out a lot more. So, and then if you really want to, you can add some detail and just get some um, smoke and do that. <laughs> like I said, now we need it, but I think it just adds to it. Look at that, dude. Looks amazing. One thing I forgot to do is to um, mix this texture. So what can I do to uh, mix the um, the um, overhang there? I could try light gray maybe, maybe a few light gray concrete. Eh, I think that works pretty good. I could probably use, find something a little better though. You could try black tear dottle and um, brown tear dottle since they're kind of close to each other and matches the um, thing up there. Okay, I think that's not bad. I think that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, it looks kind of looks so dumpy and crappy, and now I can actually place one of these with this, because why not? Yeah, I think that looks so much more um nastier. So yeah, if you want to make a building look very nasty, what you do is honestly just put, kind of put down random blocks that are similar to it. Well, you want to find a balance. You want to find something that's similar without going too, like, too, like, um... Like it stands out like a sore thumb type of thing. Just takes experience to take design. 
And for and for the shelf, why not just use um I just use um planks actually. Actually no, that looks too clean. Let's use <laughs> let's use Let's use nether bricks. I think that looks good and it matches up there as well. And then maybe put a carpet there. To, so people can uh, place the orders down. Nah, it looks too clean. Let's just leave it like this. I do forget. Uh, yeah, you should keep this actually. Oh wait, sticky burgers! Now um, we can add some furniture now. And I look up, look at my um screenshot for the um furniture. Oh yeah, one more thing. This actually is a dumpster just outside of the um burger place. So I guess I can add it, but it's really no reason to add it. It's gonna be hidden behind the walls, which I actually have to rise up a little bit. Or raise a little bit. Alright, I think that looks good. Um, I don't have an interior shot. I actually watched a vid episode just to see, just, um, just see some more of the, um, just to see what the vid episode is all about. But it looks like I forgot to uh, take some interior shots, but it doesn't really matter. I just go decorate or um, put in furniture like a normal kitchen, because I kind of roughly remember what was in there. So I could just rise up this wall. I could also do this world edit, but I'm not doing that for some reason. And just normally in the episode, just add some dumpsters. Why? Just just adds more character to a place. So just add some dumpsters and no. Uh, they could also add some barrels, a chest, and random stuff like that. And scaffolding makes good tables, so you can just add some of those. Alright, perfect. Honestly, I could probably put this wall even closer to it, because I don't need a lot of space. Alright, so for the um, tables, I think the tables turned out pretty good. A small cylinder. I don't like a um, box like that, it looks kind of weird. So, um, I just got to assume it's a cylinder like that. Now, honestly, the tables are probably doesn't even, doesn't even look that bad, honestly. But the, what is kind of out of place is the um, boxes, which is supposed to be down there. So, I'm, I'm going to do, since you don't have boxes in Minecraft. Oh, you do have boxes. You have the shulker shul box. Could this actually work? Yeah, we tried shulker boxes. Why not? Hmm. Interesting, I get definitely I think that's actually a pretty good um pick. Looks so like something to the box. Yeah, not bad. Not bad pick, I think. Then we put one there and put one there. Okay, there you go, we got our um seats. Looks so scared of that the reason why he's kinda of scared of it is um actually no I'm gonna do. Um do I have enough space for it? I may have to move out the wall a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just create a little bit more space. This is a Minecraft thing because everything is so like... So big, like, you have to make compromises like this. It's worth it at the end, I think. And then I can just um, stack this by um, 3. There we go, now I'm going to um, go to um, search position 1, search position 2, choose a common area, slash slash cut, and then go here and slash slash paste. Okay, there we go, now we have more space to put our um, boxes in now. Our little nasty boxes. So it looks more like um, the seeding instead of just random stuff just floating about. It looks better. I think. <laughs> In the show, they're very close together, so it might not have been a bad idea to put them close together, put boxes random, but it doesn't really matter, like I said before. I could also just add two seedings because, you know, why not? Alright, so we got our, our main things done after that. For the detail, so um, why well, like this block? So I just can place this everywhere, just to make it look nasty. I did say I'll do the furniture first, but it doesn't really matter which order you go into. Maybe put some going outside as well, you know. 
So yeah, this looks this looks like trash or something gross. So I want to just add it everywhere. And then what else do we have that is kind of like ew like? You can also add like a bad texture. Later something on brown brown them brown them powder. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, there we go, and um, let's add a um factory style door actually, which is going to be the iron door pretty much. Keep in mind, there's a back door you can enter it from any. Uh, that door kind of sticks out. I don't like it, so I'm just going to use a normal door. Yeah, white is not a good door to use for a building like this. Now I can also play around with other things, like adding a like, um, nether brick frame, but normally I stay away from frames because they just look kind of horrendous. Yeah, uh, nah, I don't think I'll deal with do it. Yeah, like I said, it can probably work, but not for me. Alright, so um, we have that. Alright, and I think that's pretty good now. I think this is pretty good. I probably can um add some of this as well. Because I kinda of removed all of it. Which will add to the um disgustingness of this place of course. But most importantly I should probably add some um shrubs because even though there's no shrubs here, this will really make it look kind of run down. Just adding random shrubs really helps with that process. And I kind of go place all randomly. So, um, yeah. <laughs> shrubs everywhere, um, and that really helps everything look, look just so disgusting, so... You don't want to be here, and the reason why the health expecting, um, team whatever closed this place down. Because you had trees really growing everywhere. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks so much better. Even at the entrance. Shrubs. Um, overgrown trees everywhere. Adds character to a nasty place like... The um, Sticky Burgers. Oh wait, perfect. Um... Now, um, I could also put the um, sign here. But I'm not gonna do that since it's already here. Now here, we could be there at the kitchen, um... First, let's do this. Because why not? <laughs> and now, um, for the kitchen... Like I said, I don't have any shots inside, but I'm probably gonna get very close on, even if it's not correct. Back here... Furnish... Carpet... Mix the stove... And I think that was pretty much it, actually. <laughs> yeah, Steaky Burger don't have that many um, things inside, of course. This could be normal, so it doesn't have to match the... Um... I can use really any block in here, just because it's like the kitchen and it doesn't really matter. Um, scaffolding. Maybe a um, tiny table here. I think I do need a freezer though. I think I should add a freezer. This is where he chops out all his food and maybe some trip wires. Trip wire hooks, which looks like hooks, which can hang your pants, parts, coats, all that on. Whoops. I kind of be careful world edit, not to um, do some bad commands. And when using world edit, quick trip, quick um trick, always or tip, always make a backup of your worlds. Not that hard to do anymore. You don't even have to go to your world file. You just have a quick. Make a backup and it makes a backup. Always do that because you don't want anything to go hardly wrong and lose all your progress. So a quick trip or tip for you. Um put it closer here. Eh, come on. Right here, there you go. It's probably better to put the um thing there, but it's alright. Uh what else am I missing? I should probably put a sink maybe. <laughs> Even though I don't think there's any water in here, but we add anyways. Of course, you can kind of be playful here because, you know, this is a, um, run-down place where nothing makes no sense. 
So I'm gonna of course be kind of um, playful and kind of silly here. Unlike in Crossy Towers, which I'm gonna be building next time on camera. At least try to. And yeah, I think that's good enough. I really wish I do have an interior shot of the Jump Caverns. Alright, we don't. So, um, that completes this build. Now I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be like doing the landscape. Which will take a while. Actually, I could do some on camera. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a little bit of a slope. Actually, yeah, I'm going to make a slope here. On both sides. Uh, so, um, so let me just clear my inventory here. Let me get a hole. Actually, no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's get a hole. And then to make landscape, I, I don't plan to do the, um, the um, blue stone stuff, the blue terror doctor. I'm just going to do um, the sand. I don't think, I think that's too extreme for what I'm planning to do here. So, slash brush. Cylinder. And the two, sorry, three, and um, two. Perfect. And then I could kind of place the sand where I want. And I don't want, want too much. And this is also just to make a barrier between the um, chum burgers and the um, not the chum burgers, the um, um, nasty burgers and the um, and the um, main road there. And that's should do it. Make sure it's kind of natural. Doesn't be smooth, but it has to be natural. Right, I think that's pretty good. I think there's enough separation between here and the bony school. But um, I guess we find out once I put all the shrubs. So we'll do the brush smooth command. Doesn't matter which number, what it does. Because you don't want to um, impact the other landscape, which you don't want to, land to um, interrupt. Let's move out all of this. And there we go. Now you may have noticed that the um, texture here looks different from the ground. That's okay. I can fix that later. By typing a pretty much a well air command, I'll let you um, sandstone, white powder, and all that. But I don't go about that right now because I'm not focused on detail yet. Detail comes after. You want to make sure you get all these um, structural bits done first. And then from here, we just place the leaves down. A lot of leaves, because you want this kind of be isolated, nasty, and all that. And of course, the parking lot is probably going to be between these hills, or right here, or the, kind of somewhere here. It doesn't really matter too much where the parking lot is. And then the pathway will probably go from here to, like, here. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to show you how this looks afterwards, and hopefully it turns out well. So uh, I'll pretty much be doing this. i try to get this to be more frosty-like. All right, we I be right back. We and there we go. We have stinky burgers all completed. Looks nice. I have some leaves all around. Now keep in mind, SpongeBob is supposed to be a primarily long landscape, or sorry, flat landscape. So that's why they add too many of these hills all around. It could have add more detail to it, but honestly, the main point of this is about is about the buildings and not really about the uh, making hills and leaves all over. And the reason why I don't go too overboard with the leaves and mix them up all that is because a it has I want to be somewhat accurate to the show to have like a flat landscape that is um it's kind of almost like kind of like see through and b I need some flat areas as well like in the show so I didn't want to make it too like forsty or too uh, much. Because I really cut up, I cut only just did what I did cut forest. If you don't know why I did cut forest, I pretty much use a command that allows you to place almost random um, leaves all around to get like this effect. So that's um, what I could have done, but I didn't really want that. I really want non dense tea in this area. So especially so near the um, um, sticky burgers. But I need at least a little bit more density just to separate the sticky burgers and the boarding school. So that's kind of why I went for this um, kind of um, scheme right here. So pretty much this is the experience. You can walk here, you can park here, and trust me, there's enough room to park your boats here, whatever. And then you can walk across this um, path, which is here. Which is not really a pathway, but whatever. And then you make it to um, Stinky Burgers. I kind of actually missed a pathway here. Hmm. Let's just do something like that. It doesn't really matter, honestly. 
and then you make it to Sticky Burgers. Of course, here you can order up, and then this room is released a little bit, and of course you can sit down or just go out and blah 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 and get sick by the burgers. So yep, this is where uh, Mr. Krabs got its inspiration for the Chum and Krabby Patty, the Sticky Burger Shop. Inside, we don't have much lighting. Let me make sure I um destroy this um hole before I do something silly. Because that's what I use to smooth down the landscape a little bit. And let's um put some light sources. In this case, I could just do some do some um torches. It doesn't really matter what you do, but I could just do torches because it's easy and there's only that many light sources in Minecraft. I could use a barrier block, but nah. And then maybe place like a few like just outside as well. The um, gate possibly just light up the gate a little bit. Maybe like that. There you go. Now this place will look at least somewhat pretty at night. I could also do um a lighting source here. I always do lighting last just because of the um. I just also want to make the night experience as well. Um, there's not really too many light blocks like I said, so I just got to use like what I have. I believe in the next update we get a lot more light blocks, so that would be kind of awesome. I could also um dig down a little bit and kind of hide it a little bit. There you go, now the sign is um, a bit more illuminated now. And to cover it up, I could just add some trap doors or something like that. Just to cover it up. Since it's in the ceiling, not much people could see it. And once that's done, um, that's um, pretty much it for the building. That's how I um, built in uh, Minecraft, or in the Spongebob map at least. Of course, there's a lot more stuff can add, more detail, more texture, but at one point, since it's not a main building or anything like that, it, at some point you have to stop and stop and move on just because of time and you just... I kind of want to want new buildings to make this speaking bar look more um, better, more finished, because I think this is at least acceptable for um, what I have right now. I'm thinking of what else I need to add. Oh yeah, the bathroom. I'm not going to add a bathroom here. Actually, I can add a bathroom. Watch this. And there's the door. And that's your bathtub. Um, I hope you love it because that's all you get in here is this um, bathroom. <laughs> And of course on top, let's write BR, and boom, there you go, that's your bathroom. So if you want to use the bathroom, you have to go back there. Hopefully you don't get lost back there. But yeah, um, there's some llamas. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the um, Sticky Burgers. Um, that and then shows around. So here is the dining area. Then of course back there is the... Um, Back back area where we do all the garbage. Of course, a bathroom here. Ah, bathroom. And then, of course, um, there's a back door that Mr. Krabs and Plankton try to sneak into for whatever reason. And then, of course, we have a kitchen door, two doors for whatever reason. And this is where you prepare the food and all that. And yeah, that's what we'll say in the episode. And yeah, that's it. Now, um,. Because we're on the roll of this episode, I do want to add one more building. Not here, but in the Bikini Bottom Dump. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a cut here and go to the Bikini Bottom Dump. So I see you there. Right. We have made it to the Bikini Bottom um, Dumps here. So here, I actually didn't even, I didn't even do that many sketches here. Only one. And that's because this building is hardly shown in the series. And for those buildings, I just kind of want to give a parent that it's there without... Um, without spending all this time trying to make it beautiful, all that I try to be like less, um, less like precise in this. It's just simply because you're just supposed to be there just for a quick reference or so. I say, remember, oh, yay, well, this is where like the Mr. Krabs planned their um new burger store, and that's all I need. I made a sign that references it because not many people don't recognize this building because it only appeared like I believe <laughs> once ever. So, there was still this appeared in the same episode. Same episode as the um, Sticky Burgers, ex except, um, okay. this appeared in the same episode as Sticky Burgers, so 
that's why we kind of glued it. I just watched this episode like a few hours ago, so I decided to say, hmm, why not just add this? Because I don't have to spend too long on it, and I think it'll just make the Bikini Bomb seem more, I think, enjoyable for uh, me and you and everyone. So that's like the logic behind that. I hope you understand that. So, um, first, I need to find the placement of it. By the way, this is Bikini Bomb Dumps. Looks amazing, I know, right? So, uh, my thinking of location is actually good here. Now, here is actually on pretty on flat ground, so I think here is actually really good. Now, of course, in the Bikini Bomb Dump, at least this version, I don't really have flat ground, so I was actually thinking of like expanding outwards towards the sand. Actually, I think that's a good idea. Is there an area that can do that, actually? I might have, uh, might have locked all those locations up. Uh, doesn't matter too much. I can just um, build it here then. So let's get here a little bit flat. There's so many blocks here. <laughs> I this stumps have really been updated since um, since you know I last played it. Well, since I um since last since the first season actually, and even the second season I believe. So I pay to go fill all sub. I can just use a command to um fill up all E as well, but you know, not doing that. Of course, opening a store in the dump, which they did turn this um, hideout into a, a um, restaurant, which didn't go out um, well, pan out so well, according to Kevin, but um, hey. So um, I think this is a little, not a lot of space, so I'm going to do here, I'm going to um, just um, fix that. I just want a little more space. Okay, then I could just use the um, smooth brush, which could be any tool really, but I just like using holes because when I just use silver, it doesn't really matter. They're not doing like um, a landscape thing, I just try to make more space and make this look more natural. Try a small one. Uh, I like that. I'm just gonna leave like that. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, why is that? Uh, that was all that flat? Might have been actually. Let me just make sure. Yeah, all that was flat. Okay. Making sure. Alright, so I do all that. Like I said, always save and use well there just in case something really bad goes on. Like after this build, I can make a, um, um, a um, save state. Not save state, a um, backup. So, what I'm going to do since the trailer made of orange um, pterodactyl, let's start with that. I mean, the show is made of orange pterodactyl. I may have a um, screenshot on you on screen. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Just depends how I feel. And on the. Um, anyways. I don't need much space here. This is a very, very tiny building. So my goal is to build these up pretty fast, just because I don't want to spend too much time on these background buildings, and I don't, and I don't get enough time to the um, bigger, more point buildings, which like takes up a whole episode compared to this building that only took up like a quarter of an episode. So let me do this. Then I would say go up a little bit. Let now try to get this curve. The curve, the back side plus the um, front side is a little curvy. And then probably go up here and then go up here. And then... Uh, that's a little big. Keep in mind, it needs to be small enough to actually be less to the road because it's not a big building at all. So go actually move most of this. Yeah, it's way too big. And stuff like this happens sometimes. You just have to make sure you control yourself. A little bit to like, talk about sizes of things. And I'm actually going to um, make this a little smaller. Because my world's only three blocks big. So yeah, this should be very small. In the show, it's much bigger. Much, much bigger in the show. But we can't do that here. Because the blocks are one meter long, and technically, I guess it'll be like even even though this is still tiny, but I could just do it like this. I could make it bigger, but that's it. 
Just to fit at least one thing inside. And then I can do like that. Go up, then go like that, then go like that. That's probably the biggest I can probably go. Yeah, probably is. And the center is right around here. So three, four, five. I could just use this to count as well. Five. So yeah, that's the center here. I can mark that with the gold block. I don't use gold blocks to mark um key features or key points of builds. Alright, so um let's fill this all in now. I could just place blocks or I could just do this instead. Use a stack command. And this will um, stack the blocks this way. So stack, um, I think, four. See how helpful world edit, world edit is? It's very helpful. And inside, I didn't really take my screenshot inside, but I'm just going to do a floor. I don't really need to see what's inside. So just a little floor. Manage your slabs. And for the um trail itself, by the way, this is pretty big for what it is. I kinda using Mr. Krabs in the window for scale. A little bit. And you can see how tall he is and the door as well. So yeah, you can see why you really can't make this any taller, right? And do the other side. Of course I can use a fill command, but I think this is a little faster than trying to do zoom well edit for this part. Then now of course you can use a flip command to um flip it around. So, so slash slash copy slash slash flip. I want to play pace without destroying the um landscape. So my say. Okay, that didn't work. How did that not work? Hold on. Okay, so I did a flip command. It gets dark a lot here. That's why I can't keep making it a day. So, um, that's the, um, rough outline. Now, I think I can remove this, um, block. And I'm gonna put the window here, probably. And the window needs to go here as well. Yeah, so right there. How big? How far? Oh, let me just test this real quickly. Yeah, that can work. Actually, no, it has to be higher. It has to be higher. And then the doorway goes on the left. Now, um... Now, the framing, I normally ignore, ignore, but because of how this building is, like, shaped, I think it's good. I'm just going to do the blue frame. I think it's just necessary for this build, just because it's not, because already there's not a lot of detail on it. But I think just doing that will actually help it a little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. But you can see why I normally don't do frame. But in this case, I think it's worth it. Man, that's a huge frame. Honestly, I may even do it now I'm looking at it. Yeah, that looks silly. Nah, no frames. Dude, it just does look good. Now we can place our um, staircase and doorway. An old staircase. No, I don't want to match that though. It's not even a staircase, it's like just slabs piled atop each other, wooden slabs in the show. And there we go. And this thing is on, um, let's say, cinder, cinder block, so let's just put some, let's just put cobblestone instead. That's what they're telling on. Oh, you can't even get to the back clip. But that's okay, though. Oops, need that. And that's pretty uh, much it for the, um, sh the shape of it itself. Now, this door, I'm going to do this, or do something like this, because I can't put a door in and let it do that. 
So, uh, this is how Minecraft works. You have to make things like this. Um. Oh yeah, so, um, you want a rough texture now, so similar to what we did with the um, Stinky Burger building. It won't be as overboard, but it could be like something though. So, um, Orange Tether Doctor, we already have that. Fits very nicely. So what block is similar to Orange Tether Doctor? Maybe yellow? Eh, I think pink looks a little similar. And maybe magenta, now I think that's too different. Yeah, let's try that then for now. Shasha, sweet place. Orange. And the reason why I don't use the ID number is because it's hard to remember them. It, and, and, and the time it takes me to look them up, I already, already typed the whole word. So that's fast. That's why I don't use the um the number. You know, still, it looks faster. I just need to actually remember the number. And then we have, what do we have again? Red. Oh, pink to doctor. So, um... So let's say, um, let's say 50% I bleed on the front. Yeah, 50% and 50% because why not? Okay, I hate when that happens. 50%. Oh, I don't think it's, I think it stands out a little bit more. Let's try something else. Let me try pink concrete actually, that might twirl. Hmm, now that sticks out too much. Maybe not attack doctor may work better. Not so similar. Probably blue might actually work here. I try like gray actually. I know the um, original block is there, but I think I can work with it. That's why I'm keeping it. Uh, all right, I can take this. This is all right. And then from here, I could put glass. Doesn't matter the color really, I just put um I just put as uh, blue it's bluish, I just put blue glass. And there you go. I was thinking to do an Easter egg that has the eject floor and the um and the um trap floor, so let's do that actually. Fine. Trap door Eject. Eject. And there we go. And then uh, you get you get pick which door, which um, which um, tr which um button you want to press. The um trap door or the um thingy. I was going to I was going to use um command blocks here, but I decided against it. So trap door, you get trapped down there forever. With no way up. Or eject. <laughs> so I um, like this and lever, I believe. Boom. And then he goes through the roof. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, that's a little easter egg I to add. So sometimes we go around just add little nice things like this, just to make things look more, um, thing. More, um, I guess, memorable. And of course, the main thing that may spark your memory by most people is probably the um, trap door and the um, eject button thingy. So yeah, I may switch those out with command blocks, but I don't think it's worth the effort, honestly, to do that. 
So um, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. A very different take on why how I normally do things, building things on camera. I'm going to try this again, I think, with the Crusty Towers coming up next episode in two weeks. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'll probably add a sign here just, says what, just to say what this is. Anyway, see you all on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Intro. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you hate, please leave a dislike. If you enjoy, please consider subscribing. Now, bye, everyone. <laughs>